QT being installed, um, the uh, tool chain will eventually um, find all the uh, executables it needs to actually compile our code. And when it comes to running, um, all these uh, libraries are actually provided as dynamic link libraries, DLLs, and those are loaded at runtime. So uh, while the compiler will be able to compile code, um, then um, the system will not be able to execute these um, programs simply because it uh, cannot find the uh, dynamic link libraries um, that uh, it needs to actually uh, do that. And um, so to prevent the situation, um, Windows actually looks for DLLs just where it looks for regular executables as well. DLLs are, as far as Windows is concerned, executables. So the system path uh, then uh, has to be just uh, uh, amended by uh, entries to actually find the uh, uh, DLLs that uh, are provided both by Qt and MinGW. So let's do this. Uh, easiest way to do this is to go to the program menu and then just type uh, env for environment variable and uh, we're already getting a um, entry to uh, edit the system environment variables and uh, here we then will go and uh, click on environment variables and you can do this on a system wide basis or on a uh, user basis and um, so uh, here we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, uh, edit the uh, um, path for the user, that's the safest and easiest way uh, to do it right now for program development. So let's do this. We uh, select path and then just say edit. And um, so now we have to add, create two new entries. Uh, the first one is the uh, location of the uh, Qt um, DLLs. And uh, uh, this is under C and then backslash Qt. And then the Qt version, which uh, as of now is 5.14.1. Um, and uh, then uh, MinGW73 um, underscore 64, which is the uh, installation that we did. Qt compiled with MinGW of that particular version. And then the binary directory bin. So that's uh, MinGW, um, uh, that's uh, a Qt compiled by uh, MinGW, and now uh, MinGW itself also provides uh, some DLLs. So we have to create uh, yet another one uh, entry here, and that is then C backslash Qt backslash tools backslash MinGW7300 underscore 64. So, and that's, uh, uh, that's that, of course, if uh, um, Qt ever gets uh, updated or uh, uh, switches to a different uh, updated version of MinGW, um, these two paths will have to be um, changed as well so that uh, uh, programs compiled with the latest version of Qt can then also find the latest version of the DLNs. But uh, other than that, we can save this now, and we have now changed our uh, system environment variables to find uh, the QT and the MinGW DLLs.